Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a uh, Johnny Microbiologist. Here in Africa, in every country we have what we call staple food. For example, the staple food for Ugandans is banana. When you come here in our country, 254 Kenya, you find that the staple food here is maize. And from maize, we are able to derive different types of foods, including ugali, gideri, which is a mixture of maize and beans, as well as maize flour porridge. Kenya and her parts are located 35 degrees north and 35 degrees south away from the equator. This creates a band whereby various communities of fungi thrive. The favored fungal types include Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus. This type of fungi attack our maize. The attack is at any phase, pre-harvested phase or post-harvested phase. This type of fungi produce mycotoxins. These are dangerous chemicals that get their way into our maize and this maize is considered as unfit for human consumption. Apart from we humans using maize as food, chicken, cows also feed on maize. You'll find that animal feeds are processed from maize. And these animal feeds come in form of commercial feeds. Also this aflatoxin infects the chicken and the cows. So for example, uh, when a cow ingests aflatoxin infected maize feed, it will actually acquire aflatoxin B1. That aflatoxin B1 will undergo metabolism and this metabolism will actually convert this aflatoxin B1 to aflatoxin M1. So what you will be taking from the milk is aflatoxin M1. Also, the eggs from the chicken will also have aflatoxin. So you see that there is that broad range and a diverse network of the spread of the infection. The infection caused by this aflatoxin is called aflatoxicosis. So aflatoxicosis is characterized by diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting. It may also lead to cancer types, especially liver cancer. And the major complication that can lead to instant death is collapsing of the lungs, whereby this liver cancer has progressed, attacking the lungs. Therefore, these lungs become malfunction, they collapse, and they may lead to death. Aflatoxicosis emerges as an outbreak because you'll find that there is a certain region whereby the maize have been affected by these fungal types that I've mentioned. So you'll find that in that whole region, there is actually a certain outbreak of aflatoxins. 